Hey everyone, welcome to the What's New in Fusion 360 for Design and Engineering video. This is the October 2022 release, and we've got some cool new workflows to show off this time. Thanks for joining us, let's get to it. Before we jump into the What's New, we wanted to mention a new NVIDIA driver for those of you using certain GeForce and Quadro cards. You may have noticed a performance issue in running Fusion 360 if you had G-Sync enabled. This resulted in a sort of stuttering of the graphics during certain operations. While the workaround was to disable G-Sync in the NVIDIA control panel, a new driver update will resolve the issue and allow Fusion 360 users to re-enable G-Sync if they wish. Check the links in the description below for more information. To start us out this release, let's take a look at the generative design space. Over the past year, we've been working hard to develop a new solver for generative design. We have now reached the stage where that solver is ready for prime time. With the October release, this new solver is the default solver for generative design. You will notice faster solves, better shapes, and higher quality results in general. For the moment, the new solver is just a direct replacement for the old production solver. Future releases of Fusion 360 will turn on additional capabilities, but for now, workflows are exactly the same. The old solver is still available by turning on the experimental solvers in your preferences and enabling alternative results in the study settings, but this option will be removed in a future release. For simulation, we have a few new changes to talk about. First off, as pleaded the transition to the cloud solvers only, we have continued to invest in speeding up the pipeline infrastructure of our simulation tools. This means that round trip solve times should be shorter, significantly so. This is an area of active investigation and investment, as we know that some users may still be experiencing longer solve times than they did when they were solving locally. Stay tuned for continuous improvement here. Next, also in line with the cloud solve change, we have enabled exporting of the NASTRAN file, NAS file, from the simulation environment. This allows for significantly deeper analysis potential by using the full implementation of Autodesk NASTRAN inside Inventor. The NAS file contains all of the setup information and can be run both externally to NASTRAN NCAD using the command line tools or inside NASTRAN NCAD. Exporting the NAS file takes a little bit of setup so be sure and check the What's New blog, the What's New blog link below for the text command and file location to access your NAS file. For e-cooling, we have some UI changes to note. The ambient temperature has now been moved out of the study settings and is now a command on the ribbon. We're now also splitting the loads out into three categories in the tree to make finding and editing them much easier. We've also made changes to the critical temperature dialog so that components are cross-highlighted in the viewport the tree, and the table when there's... Let's move on to design. The changes in the design environment are mostly back-end performance this go-around, with investments made to speed up opening designs, exporting meshes, exporting meshes, direct editing, sketch selections, and more. Check out the blog for the full rundown of the changes and their performance impact. One front-end change is a new prompt when changing physical materials that asks if the user wants to remove the old material for any overrides. This makes the physical materials assigning experience similar to that of appearances. Lastly, let's take a look at the drawings change. In May, we announced the ability to bring across item attributes into your drawings. With this release, the description field is now available to round out those available attributes. New this release, we've now enabled object properties within drawings. This means that drawings can now have specific line types, line weights, and colors for various geometry types in the drawing. While this isn't as granular as Inventor or AutoCAD drawings, this does open the door to more nuanced drawings and documentation. For example, in a complicated machining drawing, the colors or line weights might be adjusted to make boundaries easier to understand. But by leveraging various appearance options within the model itself, we're able to also create drawings which mimic the appearance of pattern drawings, halftone engravings, 
and other more old school drawing aesthetics. To create some of these types of views, use various 2D texture images like halftones or other hatching as material appearances in the 3D model. In the drawing, just set the appearance to shaded with or without hidden lines to your liking. It may take some tinkering to nail down the texture for your specific model, so be sure and check out the texture mapping options and appearance controls if things are a little wonky. If you're using Fusion 360 for patent designs, there's a good chance that this new functionality will streamline your process and even potentially eliminate the need for additional vector software. Additionally, visually interesting designs can be created using inverted or contrasting colors. Nothing says retro punk aesthetic quite like graphics that mimic an 80s green CRT screen. One final note this release for those of you on a few older OS's. Starting in March of 2023, we will no longer be supporting Fusion 360 across Windows 8.1, Windows 10 version 18.03 and older, and Mac OS 10.15 Catalina. We wanted to give everyone a good heads up that this was coming. By staying focused on more current operating systems, we can continue to deliver ever-evolving and growing features. Thanks for hanging out with us this time. As usual, there are tons more features in the electronics and manufacturing videos that you should go check out. The blog link below has the full rundown of new and updated features, as well as links to deep dives and other resources. Be sure and update your NVIDIA drivers, and we will catch you next time.